Interstate 270 is one of the most congested roads in St. Louis. In an effort to improve traffic flow, MoDOT started a pilot program on this roadway to include variable speed limits. This means speed limits are adjusted to keep traffic running smoothly. When congestion starts building on portions of I-270, whether by heavy traffic volume or an accident, the Missouri Department of Transportation uses these changeable speed limit signs to ease traffic into areas, which creates better flow. Since installation of variable speed limits in 2008, I-270 has the lowest crash rate of all St. Louis interstates and some congestion has been reduced. Following a review of the program, MoDOT engineers believe safety and congestion on I-270 can be improved even more with some changes. I-270's variable speed limits will now become variable advisory speeds. This means drivers will continuously be advised of how fast or slow their vehicle should be moving in order to safely get to their destination in the shortest amount of time. The advisory speed limit is similar to having advisory speed limit signs posted on curves and ramps. It's the suggested speed to safely travel. By midsummer 2011, I-270 advisory speed limits will adjust from the posted speed limit of 60 miles per hour all the way down to 10 miles per hour, depending on the congestion on the road. Advisory speed limits are not enforceable. However, their purpose is to caution drivers and inform them of issues further down the road. MoDOT's message signs will also include information regarding the congestion or lane closures ahead. Here's a demonstration to help explain why advisory speeds will benefit motorists. This funnel will represent I-270. Each grain of rice will represent vehicles, with the tip of the funnel representing heavy congestion or an accident slowing down traffic. If drivers ignore advisory speeds and hurry through I-270, backup will increase. A limited amount of vehicles will get through creating more congestion, leaving many drivers basically stuck and waiting to get through. When drivers follow advisory speeds, congestion in I-270 can be better managed, which ultimately will get more cars safely through and to their destination faster. As this example proves, Reducing the flow of traffic speed actually gets more vehicles through. Thanks to MoDOT's Gateway Guide System, MoDOT knows when and where traffic problems happen. The message signs and advisory speeds are designed to warn you so you can slow down and prepare for congestion and potential lane reductions, advantages that will provide a safer and quicker trip. Again, these advisory speed signs will be in place starting mid-summer of 2011.